So you guys are still at your, you know, tactics trying, right? Karma's not getting you guys enough yet, hey? I don't think you really understand. I really don't care. See, I don't need to prove to anybody who I am. I know my birthright. I've had the downloads. Why? Because the Most High communicates through me. So, I've ele elevated so much. Like, so much. Like, I'm fully ascended. Where I'm literally above. And I'm watching all you guys. <laughs> I'm watching all you guys. Okay, you know, if we try this, we can take her down. Or if we try this, then we can convince everybody she's crazy. And if we try this, and you know, keep trying. Keep trying. I'm always going to be 10 steps ahead of you because the Lord speaks through me. Keep trying. But you don't understand. I don't care about your credentials because you guys all know my birthright. I am above all you guys. I know my authority. That's why I'm not scared. Because literally you guys are all my bitches. Mm -hmm. As much as you hate to admit that, I know my authority. I know my rank in society. You guys tried to steal my rank. But do you think someone that was ranked by the Lord Most High, do you think the Lord is going to take that away from me? No. See, what we're doing is my birthright was a certain amount, which I know. But because you, all you criminals stole my identity and did all this stupid stuff, playing the stock market, right, Paul Woodward? Mm -hmm. You guys have taken my money, dispersed it all throughout the family because my family are a bunch of fucking retards and took my money to try and take me down because they figured that if they could take me down, they would split all my money and be um, cool. Okay, so here's the funny thing. I don't care about money. I just don't care. So you guys are so, so earthbound. You're so earthbound. You don't realize that, like, <laughs> this is just a test. This is just a test. You have no clue how many lifetimes I've spent on earth, and now I'm totally awakened to all those lifetimes and experiences. And I'm laughing at all you guys, because half of you guys are just, you guys are, are so, like, Let's say school, Earth is, is, is a school. Especially the elites. Most of you guys are still stuck in kindergarten, grade one. And it could take you thousands of years to get close to the point I'm at. Because I just don't care. I understand energy. Money is energy. Okay? You're in judgment. That's why I let you guys steal all my stuff. The Lord Most High said... Step aside. You're going to be the pawn. You're the sacrificial lamb. Because I am part of the Godhead. And that, that's why all these attacks are so hardcore. Because I'm part of the Godhead. So either people believe in you and they don't. Or people love you or they hate you. There's like no middle ground. So I knew my job. I am part of the Godhead. I'm here to teach you guys lessons. So... Steal all my content. Hack all my shit. Fine by me. Because we're in judgment. This is the second coming of the Christ consciousness. So, the, I know the end of the story. It's just that we're just, you're in judgment. So, the Lord Most High has used me as a vessel to judge you guys. And to see how you guys act. Like, because this is the end. This is judgment. <laughs> Hello, it's the end. This is the final test. And I've given you guys so many opportunities to... I have made... I got rid of so many videos. But you guys know in the videos, I was like, do the right thing. Come to the right side. You're in judgment. And then in the process, all you guys did was get more people involved to try and take me down and kill me and defame me. But you know what's really unfortunate is a lot of those people before you guys convinced them that this was a great idea, they were actually on the good road. They were on the good road. But in the last, like, especially year, we've had to cut a lot of wings. <laughs> like, so many of you failed. So many of you failed. For what? How's that new truck, sir, drunk? 
Hmm? Do you know that I can't? Like, you think I don't know where that came from now? Also, is there a junk? That spinach salad that you brought to my house with um, shrimp? Jake ate that. Wow. I didn't even eat it. Jake did. So when you guys were poisoning me and bringing stuff to my house, um, Jake was eating that too. And skip the dishes when you guys were poisoning our food. Um, Jake ate that too. Don't think that you guys aren't getting sued. So every attack you guys did on me, you also did on my son. Um, you know your little military hookup with uh, your so sonar attacks that you've been doing on me, your frequency attacks? Because I know about that, and um, I do know when you're attacking me, but you've attacked my entire household. Therefore, um, everybody in the household is going to be suing you guys for... Uh, was a frequency warfare on us. You attacked our household. See, that's the thing. You guys kept forgetting your thing. You're just attacking me. No, you attacked everybody in my household. So with your illegal videotaping, everybody in the household is suing you guys for um, the illegal attacks on our house uh, through frequency warfare. Everybody in the house is suing you guys. When you guys came into the yard and put poison in my hose and tried to kill my dog, we kept the hose. And we have cameras everywhere. You almost killed my dog. You shot my cat. Like, for real. You poisoned my son. You guys have people on the bus that are paid to take pictures of me. So now we're also going after Strathcona County, Strathcona County Transit because the clearly the transit agreed to all this. Not to mention I did make a report about uh, a bus driver abusing me and my kid. So that report was made. Like that would have been two years ago now. So there has been bus drivers gang stalking us. There's really good bus drivers. But there were certain bus drivers that were paid to gang stop us. Yeah, like even Strathcona County Transit was involved in this. The all of Sugar Park, because my dad paid them off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, right? Well, not like I give a shit. My dad's a loser. So he knows he's a loser. Like, why don't we talk about Miranda, Dad? See, my dad had people gang stalking me at the park. I was doing my singing bowls at, right? And then there was a girl there, and I had my tape recorder, and I stashed it inside the tree because she would, I didn't trust her. She was there with her two kids all the time. She always wanted to smoke pot with me, and it, like, it's just weird. And I, I saw my, like, I said my name, and she started giggling. And I, I met her, and then the next day she came, she was at the park with her kids, and I was there, and I said, you know, Miranda, um, I find it interesting. She was young. I said, when I, uh, I mentioned that my name was Sarah Zago, you laughed. I said, like, do you know someone in my family? And she's like, yeah. Well, my nephew is 21. So I'm like, oh, do you know Ethan? She's like, no. I'm like, well, why when I said my name was Sarah Zago, you laughed? She was like, I know your dad, Al Zago. I'm like, my dad's 71. How do you know my dad? She goes, he's sweet on me. I'm like, that's gross. He's an old man. And then um, Jake and I were with my dad. And we were driving and like he was driving. And there is this like young girl walking. My dad was totally checking her out. My dad's 71. And... I'm like, dad, gross. And he's like, oh, I can look. And then Jake's like, dad, she's in my, Jake's like, grandpa, she's in my class. She's 16. My dad didn't care. You know, and I'm like, ew, gross. And then um, at Montana's, who's also going to be getting sued because they were all paid off for that. So I, and since they shut down Montana's, I guess I have to go over, go to the umbrella and just take them all down. But Tycho, and Tycho even told me that that wasn't his real name. He was very flamboyant and gay. And he goes, Sarah, like, your dad's gay. And I'm like, no, he's not. 
And Taika was like, Sarah, your dad's in our community. Your dad's bisexual. And I'm like, what? So then it was just like all this weird stuff. I'm like, like when you think you know your life, and then you find out you don't. So then, like, I found out my dad at 71 was creeping on young chicks. And he also has sex with men. That was a pretty big shocker to find out after 43 years. Mm-hmm. And that's when I realized my whole life was a fucking lie. So, all these people, like, it's funny. I don't leave my, like, I just, I don't care. Like, I enjoy reading. I read. I do my art. I listen to my music. Um... No offense to any of you guys, but I I don't play in your retarded playground. Like, I think you're morons. I think you're insecure. I think you hate your lives. I think you guys want to be everybody but yourselves. I think you're jealous of people like me because we don't care. I think you guys wish you had the courage to just step right outside of that bubble you put yourselves in and just enjoy life. No, you guys are so worried about what everybody else thinks about you, right? Dad, if you're into men, so what? Go with a guy. Who cares? Like, why do you hide it? Like, you've had the whole gay community tell me you're bisexual, but you run around like some tough biker. I don't understand. Why? Like, why is everybody so fake? Justin, you too. Like, you walk around like you're some big tough guy, but you're into men too. Like, why are you guys all pretending you're something you're not? And then you guys are all trying to tell everybody I'm gay. No, I'm not. I'm totally straight. I, ugh, like, no. I love the men. And that's just funny that all these bisexual, and Kristen Junk, like, you've been gay all your life. So all, I find it really funny that all these bisexual and gay people are running around trying to convince the world I'm gay and I'm as straight as they come. It's just that I don't, I'm celibate because I understand that it's a, it's an energy exchange. And, I would rather be celibate for the rest of my life than exchange with like the wrong energy. And I've yet now <clears throat> to find really anybody that I find on my level of where I want to be intimate with because you're all retarded. You're all running around stealing, threatening, stalking. Ego problems, total dark shadows. Do you realize that for people to get involved with someone, they have to take on all their karmic diet, just like real life. So, um, so far, I haven't met one man that has no karmic debt. No, you guys are out making so many stupid decisions and sleeping with all these people and not caring and using sex as a weapon and... So you have all this karmic debt, but the difference is because I have all the clairs, I see your aura. So it doesn't matter how much you come in, like clean cut and whatever, whatever, I still see your aura. You could come across as the most perfect guy, but I can still read your karmic debt chart on your body the minute I meet you. And that's why I think it's funny because so many people think they can charm people. You can't charm me. I see the truth. I'm walking karma. But I'm also a walking lie detector. Like, I see truth. So, um, because I am, you guys don't want to understand anything beyond the lies you've been told. You really don't understand energy. You really don't understand the dynamics of the world we live in. Because you guys are in the matrix. And the matrix is earth school. And you have to go through all the lessons to get to where I'm at, where you are so elevated that you're literally looking down. Like, I don't have to go through the lessons because I learned them. <laughs> you guys are refusing to learn them. It's like you're a bunch of students that just want to cheat your way through class, right? It's like, well, if I steal this birthright and I fuck this person over, if I scare them and if I don't pay them child support, like I never got a dollar child support from justin wallace not a dollar jake and i struggled i worked two jobs and and then i would say i need help and you know what you tell me you get child tax that's your child support so what do you do and then i knew he wanted me to waste time taking him into court because he stole all of our stocks cashed them and i never saw a dollar um he 
never when we were split up we were supposed to split all of our assets he got the whole house i got he got the house he got all the vehicles my son and i moved into a one bedroom apartment because all i could get was a job for 13 bucks an hour like um he tried everything he could to knock me off my block like he just did everything he could and that's what pissed him off is that he couldn't and then like i could have taken him to court and got half the house half our assets, child support, and spousal support because I wasn't at home. Like, I was at home with my kid for a bit. But I also understand energy. So I was like, if I get, get involved with this, I'm going to have to take time off work, which I can't afford to do. And then Justin gets all my energy because I'll be fresher and be like, oh, that fucking Justin. So I just end up saying to Justin, I'm like, if you don't want to pay for your kid, don't. He doesn't have a price tag on him. It's up to you. That's your choice. And he chose not to. And his mother, Professor Betty Bear, she told my son called her. He he was like, he wanted a relationship with her so bad that every Tuesday he would call her at seven and she would always have an excuse. And one time he called her and like she, she would never talk to him. And she's a professor of feminine psychology. Yeah. And she was completely abandoned my son. She disowned him. Like he, he wasn't her. Nope. Not my blood. This is a professor of psychology, right? She's a fucking lunatic. She also lied and wrote a psychiatric evaluation on me. Lied. So Justin could take it to the, get it to my family. So they could take it to the courts and say, deem me as, um, what's the word? And, like deem me as they need to be my babysitters. Yeah, her son out there drug dealing and and ripping everybody off. There, her, his mom, and pay no child support for his kid. His mom, because of her title, she wrote up a fake psychiatric evaluation about me to deem me incompetent. And because of these people in power taking advantage of stuff, they got away with it. That's why, Professor Betty Bear, I am so suing you for every little single dollar that your mother left you, which is really, really interesting. Um, she was adopted by rich people. Betty, really? Like, if you weren't adopted by Mun Munda Bear, you would be nothing today. Did you tell everybody that Munda bought you your house when you like bought you your all your stuff? You didn't have to save up for a house. You saved up for nothing. You were giving everything by your rich little parents, but you were adopted. That wasn't even your bloodline. And then Munda, your mom told me she had a special conversation with me before she died. And she's like, I left money in the will for Jacob. Make sure you know that. And that's funny because where's that money, um, Betty? Mm. Munda has been talking to me and she told me that you, you changed her will, which is completely illegal. And she says that she expects you to give Jacob the money that she left him because she left him money in the will. She did. That's your professor. That that's the behavior of a professor of psychology. That's what she does. She steals from people. She lies. She gets paid to write fake documentation stating people are insane when they're not. And other people are saying when they're not. So she's in on this, um, stealing people's birthrights. She's the little doctor that puts people in mental institutions. Yeah, Professor Betty Bear. That's right. Bring it on, Betty. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. You know I have all my facts. So, yeah. I'm sure. Go find, a, go find one of your little girlfriends to cry to. Anyway. Anyway, I don't really give a shit. Because I'm above you, Betty. I am above you. And you hate that. You hate that I have Riken above you. Hmm. Can't wait to see your whole existence be replaced right so anyways um i really don't care what any of you guys do because i'm untouchable <laughs> i graduated so since we're in judgment and i ha i have the authority to call justice on any situation the reason why like you guys are still like running around doing your little deals and thinking you got away with stuff is because we're, I'm literally, the Lord is using me to judge you guys. So I don't really care because in the end, I still get my birthright. And in the end, 
I still get my inheritance. <laughs> like that's been guaranteed by the Lord to me. So do whatever you want. We really don't care. Because the reason why, and all of you guys have proven what losers you are, is the only reason why I've been granted with this birthright is because it's the people's money. And none of you got you guys are all clearly showing how or how greedy you are and that you would never do what was right for the people. But because the Lord Most High really wants all the people to get everything back to them tenfold that they deserve, like the humanity you fucked around with, we've allowed you to use my birthright to build empires and and like you robbed from God. When you rob from me, you rob from God. So my birthright, you guys, we allowed you to take and embezzle into a bunch of company and offshore accounts and into a bunch of businesses. And the reason why we did that is because we knew you were going down. But the more fraudulent stuff you do in my name and with my inheritance means the more money that we're going to end up getting for the people. Because right now I own the world. Like literally, um, I'm suing everybody. And you guys know I have grounds too. So my inheritance initially that I had has now quadrupled. And the reason why I was used as a pawn is because I'm here for the people. So the more activity you guys are doing and the more crimes, because you guys are all caught, we're just let you guys are working for us now. That's right, because you're all getting sued. So my inheritance has blown right up beyond what it was ever supposed to be because you guys stole my money and you're investing in it and you're all getting sued. The bonus is, is that all the people, the, the people who have been enslaved into your guys' bullshit, people that struggle to eat, struggle to pay their bills that go without while well, you little fucking hoarding pigs are robbing from all of us, thinking you're going to make us into human cattle. We're making you guys into human clowns. We're all laughing at you because basically this is the biggest, biggest financial exchange you'll ever see. And God's laughing because you guys, we, the Lord and I never expected you guys to be accumulating so much money for me through fraudulating all my accounts and stuff. Therefore, the people are finally going to be free financially because when this is all said and done, this is the people's money. Anyway, welcome to, this is lesson number one on earth school. Yeah, I don't really care what you guys do. I don't really care. I don't really care. Like, I you fucking do not care. I think you guys are morons. I don't care. You guys are in school. What do you think you're going to do? You guys are the students. You're going to intimidate the teacher? You guys are retarded. I care so much, I would zip out my hoodie and do the boo dance right now in front of you. That's so much I don't give a fuck about what you guys think. So anyway, end of lesson number one of our school in your initiation. Yeah, just so you know, I don't really care. I don't care. Because the more you guys, the more crimes you do and the more fuck-ups you do, the more money I'm generating for the people. So, bye-bye.